Well, hi, YouTube, and uh, thanks for tuning into my channel today. Um, I am the Fat Cat Collector, and basically I talk about or do uh, short show and tells or reviews about really anything that I am uh, into. And one, one thing I've been recently really into and collecting is colognes. And you probably recognize me from my uh, reviews on Invicta watches. And so I'm kind of branching off into other things right now. I just really enjoy uh, sharing my passions and collections with the rest of the world. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about a cologne that I recently picked up, a brand called Remy Latour, and I've been so impressed with their scents that I had to pick up, uh, let's see, I'm on my fourth one, the fourth one's coming in the mail. So uh, if you haven't checked out my other videos about the original one that I picked up, the cigar, the original cigar, which has been around since the 80s, go ahead and check out that video as well that I helped to explain how I discovered these other ones here. But the one we're going to talk about today, without rambling on too much, I have a tendency to really ramble on about how what led me to here and there. Uh, let's just talk about the cologne today. So, this one is called Remy Latour's Black Wood. Okay, let me just show you the container. If you've watched any of my videos on watches, you know I don't get too involved with showing you, you know, too much up close, high resolution stuff. Um, you can look at pictures online to see that. What I do do is tell you or give you my honest opinion. And uh, so there's the bottle. Uh, Rem Latour uh, cigar line. Uh, basically, they make their bottles look like they're packs of cigars. Basically, that's kind of their theme behind it. This one is the black wood. It has the silver band. The other one they make is called black oud, and that one actually has a gold band. Same bottle. Um, sprayer on this cologne is extremely well. You get a nice big blast of juice when you spray it. I'm not going to spray it right now because uh, I'm wearing something else. And I don't want to combine the two. Um, let me tell you a little bit about um, the, re the, uh, the notes in here, and we'll talk a little bit about the cologne, okay? Um, again, scent pyramid in this one is top notes of bergamot, grapefruit, Saffron and nutmeg, middle notes, lavender, violet, coconut, and M-Y-R-R-H. I don't know how to say that. Uh, mid, uh, base notes are cedarwood, patchouli, gayak wood, and tonka bean. Uh, scent family is woody and spicy. Um, honest opinion, this stuff is amazing. I liked it as soon as I took it right out of the packaging and sprayed it. Um, unlike anything that I had in my collection or have in my collection right now, I picked up the Black Oud and the Black Wood at the same time based on a couple... Uh, there's not a lot of talk about this one. You won't even find this on Fragrantica, which is really surprising to me. Uh, basically, I the first time I looked into this, because I bought the original cigar, I did find one video by a gentleman named Babs, B-A-B-B-S. And definitely, if you have not checked out his channel, do check it out. He's got a great nose to his stuff, and I trust his judgment. And he's been the reason why I've picked up several clones based on his reviews and his opinions of them. And, uh, you know, honestly, all this stuff smells good, guys. You, I mean, you're going to love it all. None of it really smells bad. There might be ones you like more than others. Like, I just picked up a Lomani, um, which is Lomani Intense Black, which is a clone of a Creed uh, Royal Oud. And it's because I've been into the Ouds lately in the woods and the spicy kind of clones uh, more than the fruity ones, I fear I was really going to like that. And it smells good. It's I've worn it twice so far. It's really growing on me. And uh, just like the first one I picked up by Rem, or the second one I picked up by Remy Latour, the uh, Cigar Black Oud, when I first sprayed it, I just didn't really care for it because it was really heavy on the rose notes. And it doesn't say it has rose in it. However, for my nose, I smell heavy rose and heavy uh, vanilla with tobacco. This one here, I instantly like. This one here is very sweet, very, very creamy, and you definitely have that sugary kind of scent to it. Um, you definitely have the vanilla. And like I said, I can read you all those notes. I'm telling you what I smell when I smell it. And it's very sophisticated. Uh, based on what Bab said about this cologne, that this is your cologne, as in not cologne, clone, your replica of Tom Ford's black... I always get this messed up. Oud Wood, excuse me. Tom Ford's Oud Wood. And uh, I've never smelled Oud Wood. However, based on Babs, he, he knows his stuff. Um, I'm telling you, this is fantastic cologne. Whether it's copying something else or not, it's definitely one for your collection. It's a cheapie. Um, right now, the most I'm going to spend on a bottle of cologne is about 30 bucks, And even that, I prefer to stay under 20 Uh This one here I got for like $18.99 on eBay that was shipped. Uh, worth every penny, guys. Definitely pick it up for your collection. It was a blind buy. And a lot of my clones I pick up are blind buys. And so far, I've just been really, really pleased with what I picked up. 
Um, of course, do your research, check out the reviews, get some ideas what it smells like. But like I said, you know, you can look at all the reviews, all the notes on these things left and right. Um, it's going to smell different to you. And it does smell different to me, just like the, the black oud. I, they don't list rose. I haven't heard anybody talk about rose in it. I smell heavy rose. And uh, that one's really growing on me as well. So uh, there's my two cents on Revelator's Black Wood, a replica or an impression, impersonation, uh, or trying to impersonate is what I'm trying to say, of Tom Ford's Wood Wood. And if that means something to you, then great. If you know, like Tom Ford stuff and you have that in your collection and you want something to wear uh, that's kind of a cheapy, uh, 18 bucks is definitely a cheapy for 3.4 ounces or 3.3 ounces. Um, this is not going to be my first bottle of this stuff. I definitely want to stock up on these because I do not want the price to go up and then not be able to get it anymore. So uh, definitely check it out. One for the collection. I'm surprised nobody's talked about this already. Amazing blind buy. All right, folks. Well, that's my, again, my two cents on Revelator's Black Wood. If you have any comments or you've tried this juice, go ahead and comment uh, in the comment section. Uh, once again, definitely check out Bap's channel. Uh, I've got a lot of good information. I've learned a lot from watching him. Another great resource is Renalescence. I really enjoy uh, both those channels and both the reviews. They review quite differently than one another. Baps is kind of very entertaining and uh, kind of funny, uh, whereas Renalescence is just a, like straight professional. I really enjoy listening to uh, to both them, and uh, they definitely have really elaborate collections. So definitely check those out. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of clones, and I have more coming in the mail. Uh, my coworker is also going to be loaning me cologne so I can do some show and tells on them and some reviews. And uh, so I've got a lot more interesting stuff coming. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks again for watching, folks. Have a wonderful day.